Hi, this is Howard of Get Fit, Stay Fit TV, and today's fitness tip of the day involves three things you must do if you're going to be successful at completing P90X, Insanity, Jillian Michaels workout, Bob Power, whatever workout program you have bought, there are three things that you need to do to be successful. And I should know these because I am famous for starting P90X over for the nth time. I always get to about week three and then things would happen and I would just restart it. And then when I came up with these three simple things, then it helped me to accomplish that goal. And the first thing is that you have to have a plan. And part of that plan comes with the workout because most workouts have a schedule for you. But you have to plan specifically when you're going to do that. For example, P90X is a time consuming workout between the normal workout and the ab workout and with yoga. It takes 60 to 90 minutes of your day, six days a week, and seven days a week if you include doing stretching on the off day, which I would highly recommend. So it takes a good hour, hour and a half of each and every day, and you have to plan that. And at first I wasn't planning that and other stuff would come up and I'd get pushed to the side. Uh, but you need to plan that. I would suggest you do it at the same time every day. Figure out if you are a morning workout person, afternoon workout person, evening. I do morning because I just like getting it up early, getting it over with. Plus we have a toddler in the house and evenings are a little bit rough to do it consistently. The second thing you need to do is have a meal plan. Now most of these programs come with a meal plan and you need to follow that because it is 80% of your success rate is going to depend on that meal plan. And if you notice all the programs on the late night television, they go across real fast. You know, this program to see the results that we're showing you must follow meal plan also. And I just remember that. When I first started working out several years ago, my trainer telling me that my meal plan was going to make up 80% of my success in losing weight and keeping it off. So you need to follow a meal plan. I would use the one that came with your program at first, but then, you know, look on our blog. We do a lot of cooking shows, research it on other blogs, and find a meal plan that works for you. And then the last thing you need is to have a plan for when you fail. Because you're going to fail. It's impossible to do P90X for 90 straight days, for me at least. I mean, I know there's a few out there that could do it. But what are you going to do that day you miss a workout? That day maybe you cheat on your diet? Don't sweat it. Just forget about it and the next day pick it up. Uh, if you don't do a workout in the morning, try to do it in the evening. But if you can't, just the next day, pick up where you left off. The important thing, especially if you cheated on your diet and maybe had a chocolate chip cookie or went to the burger stand and had a big old cheeseburger and fries, sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, then the important thing is not to turn a cheat meal into a cheat day, into a cheat week, into a cheat month. What I used to fall into the trap is maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I'd do something to blow my diet and then I would just say well I'll start over Monday. That was the wrong thing. Just start over at the next meal. One blown meal is not going to ruin your life and in fact you know the way I do it now I have a cheat day every Saturday but if you do cheat and you weren't supposed to just the next meal start with it and go with it from there. So those are the three things that you need to do if you're going to be successful at P90X, Insanity, or the program of your choice that you've bought. Don't let it sit there collecting dust, but have a plan. Schedule your workouts, just like if you're going to work out with a real trainer. Follow the meal plan and then develop your own so you can make a good lifestyle change and it not just be a short-term thing. And then, if you mess up, don't sweat it. Just keep going and start where you left off and start that very next meal or that very next workout.